Now I'm trying to do more sports with my robots. Uh, last time I did uh, baseball. This time I'm going out on a limb and trying wrestling. Um, this is a lot more difficult because the poses are a lot more dynamic and I got arms in front of bodies and, and I have to make it look right. Um, fortunately, I've been to a lot of wrestling meets my day. Um, uh, part of me and my wife's uh, hobby is to go out and shoot sports and we, do, we go to a lot of wrestling meets. Uh, matter of fact, there's two of them this week. Uh, one's a duel uh, and the other one's a full tournament. So I, I'm kind of used to what, how this is supposed to look, um, but trying to get my robots to do it, I just didn't know if I could do it. Now, when I started this, this picture, the composition to me was way off because I started way too far to the left. And I thought, well, now what am I going to do? I'm screwed. Then I thought, well, I just need to put something in the right side. So what do you put on the right side? What do you see on a wrestling mat besides the two wrestlers? Well, you see the ref, right? So I decided I'd just put a ref in there. And that really uh, fills out the composition and makes it feel more even. And my OCD tells me I cannot have an uneven picture because it would just drive me nuts. So there I am putting in the stripes of his uh, uniform. And now I'm going to go through and thicken up the lines on the wrestlers because uh, I want it to be nice and bold and stand out. Uh, in this uh, particular artwork, is it artwork really? It's, it's a cartoon. Um, I didn't use any highlight colors at all. And I probably should have, so I could differentiate between the two two different schools. But um, I went just with the straight white highlights, which I think is really kind of cool. But if I was going to do this um, with color, I would just, you know, if I do that, I'm getting back into painting again. And I don't know if I want to get back into painting for this series. I want this to be super simple. But I could take a simple um, uh, watercolor wash and just give their uh, uniforms a quick bit of color just enough you could differentiate them and not make a big deal out of it I, I, I don't want this to turn this into an acrylic painting actually watercolor would be a really good idea simple easy watercolor and then just go over it with um, maybe not a white highlight but just a, a lighter version let's say he's wearing a red uniform I would give him a lighter red which is technically pink I hate to say pink highlight but that's for another day uh, I'm still just working these out, trying to get me some um, some videos on my YouTube channel. Um, and I, I don't know what sport I'd pick next. I, I might even do wrestling again because I kind of like the way this turned out in the end. Uh, those big bubbles on top, those are not like wine bubbles or nothing. Those are supposed to be like uh, background images for like the crowd. Uh, maybe they're lights, uh, bodies, or signs or something. Because if you've ever been to a wrestling tournament, those things are usually pretty well packed and, and there's people all over the place. And so the pictures I get, there's all kinds of a crowd scene behind them. So I thought I would add that. Now, once again, I'm making it overcomplicated and I'm thinking maybe I should have not done that. One of these times I'm going to take my own advice. But for this picture, I, I put in some crowd. Um, right now I'm doing the ref's legs and uh, here it goes. I'm going to lighten up some of this these bubbles like like uh, wine bubble wine bubbles or something so I'm adding some highlights there then I go in with the straight white kind of here and there hit and miss keep it nice and random so it looks like a crowd scene I'm um, going with small oh I'm doing the the floor because the, the floor is reflecting some of the lights I do some bigs and some smalls and keep it random uh, all over the place um, I, I think that leg needed a little bit more work to it so then I pull out my ink my India ink and I mix it up and uh, now I'm gonna go in and I had an idea last time I did this I put my darks on the outside of the image this time I thought I put it on the inside just to see what it looks like and I and at first I didn't know if I liked it but looking at it now I think it works um, maybe I should just leave that alone I don't know when I looked at the picture when I took the photograph I liked the way it looked overall and adding those darks in there um, because when, when you shoot in a, like a high school, the lights from above tend to look a little stark, um, straight up. And depending on the, on the kind of mat you have below, it could be dark. Uh, lots of these schools have dark mats, black, gray mats, and it, it doesn't really shine back up in their faces. And so you get that kind of an effect. Um, I love going to a school where they have white, light yellow mats, light colored mats. Because as a photographer, you want that, that bounce back. Okay, so like and subscribe, like and subscribe, make lots of comments, 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 comments. I would appreciate it. 
and uh, I'm, I'm getting close to the end here, but don't turn off because you got to see how this turns out. You have to see the end of it. Um, now I'm putting in my shadows here and I'm signing my name, Keith Trim 24. And thank you for being here.